Okay, this will be a quick one. This is another one of the super globals uh, for PHP. This is the server super global array. So the PHP super global server array. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just setting up a simple for each loop and the way for each loops work in PHP, if you're not familiar with them, is you pass in the array as the first argument. This is what you're going to be looping over, then the keyword as, and then you can put either just one variable, and that'll be the index, or you can put the, a variable for the index and a variable for the value. And that's what we're doing here is this is the this is going to represent all the indices, and this is going to represent all the values. And I'm just looping through and I'm writing out key, value, key, value, key, value with a, a line break after each one. So it's going down through all of these. Now I am getting an error here. There are uh, There's an argument here called argv, which is used when you are uh, running PHP from the command line, if you're trying to pass in arguments like that. Uh, argv is an array of values that have been passed in as arguments to the function. Now, we can get around uh, that by checking to see if this is an array. Everything else that we have here is a string, so they're displayed no problem. But this one, when we get down to argv, it's an array, so it's giving us an error. So I'm going to break this up, <coughs> pardon me, break this up into a couple of steps. And I'm going to check to see if the value is not an array. So the exclamation mark here for not. I'm calling the isArray function and I'm I'm wanting the reverse of that. So if it's not an array, then write out the value. And then regardless of whether or not it's array, write out a carriage return. So we'll save that and there we go. Now we've got a blank space where this would be an array potentially and zero. That's the number of that's the count of arguments passed into the the function, or sorry, passed into the script when it was run. All right, so all of these different values, these all represent um, things about the environment, settings in the php.ini file, uh, settings from the httpd.configuration file from Apache or uh, Nginx, whatever the, um, the web server is that you're using. And we'll just look through a few of these. HTTP host, localhost, the server name from the config file as well, localhost. The server address, well, IPv6 version of localhost is colon colon one. IPv4 is 127.0.0.1. Uh, server port, 443. I'm using HTTPS on this page, so 443 is the port that I'm using. Now the remote address, that is the address that the web page is at. And, well, I'm on the same computer, so it's also localhost. So my server and my browser are both in the same location. Um, document root, this is my htdocs folder where my, that's localhost, and then I've got these folders with this file inside of them, and they're all inside of this. Um, so there's the full path to the file, uh, remote port, because I'm doing the live preview through brackets, it's actually using this port. Um, request URI, the script name, these are going to be the same here, PHP self, these are all different uh, names for very often the same thing. Sometimes uh, you have query string parameters and other th stuff. So name equals value. You can see the request URI includes that one, but script name and PHP self do not. Um, so there's lots of things that you can do with these values. You can validate that the script is directing uh, or coming from the, the right location or it's sending something to the right location. You can check the encoding being used on the page. Um, you can actually get at the cookies this way as well. Uh, server software, probably won't have to use that very often in the script, but um, that's what server is. It's just another array as part of the super global arrays, and it tells you things about your environment and about the request that's coming in. So all the information about the server and about this current request. If you have any questions, 
please feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, I will in the future make more videos talking about some of these specific ones, talking about uh, how to do uh, rerouting of requests and things like that. So I will get into using some of these variables in other videos. For now, I just want you to understand what this array is. All right, thanks for watching.